Hey folks, Bud Tal with W0 RMT. I wanted to do a quick short video on some of, another one of the advanced macro features in DB Switch Mobile, and this one is about setting up other DMR servers. And again, for full details on any of this, you should head over to the installation and setup document that's available at that URL. Um, it'll give you all the details on everything I'm explaining in this video. Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk real quickly about how to set up and switch to other DMR servers. Um, we're going to set that up on the server side and then go to the client side to make that switch. So in preparation, you need to have the BVS menu open in your SSH client and have the uh, client app running on your mobile device so that you can do this. So let's head over real quickly to the SSH. Uh, client where the DVS menu is running and talk about how to set this up. So if you look over here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to head down to uh, menu item 02 under advanced configuration and we're going to look for uh, setting up uh, additional DMR networks menu 2.4. And once you're there, we can change the default DMR server, but what we're going to talk about first is configuring the DMR server. So hit enter on that. By default, Brandmeister is set up uh, a DMR plus one and TGIF. I have set up another one called QRM, and I'll walk you through how to set that up now. So let's just click OK, and you'll see the details of the QRM network here. I've already set this up. Uh, so you need to know the name, you need to know the address of the server. In this case, it's qrm.kc3ol.net. You need to know the password and the port number. We're going to go through that setup procedure, acting like I'm setting this up for a new time, uh, just so you can see what that's like. So it says, do you want to change the setup? I'll click yes. And here's where you would enter the name of that network. So I entered in qrm, and I'll hit OK and then enter the IP or the DNS of the network. And for the QRM network, it's qrm.kc3ol.net. Enter that into this input. Enter in the password. Now, by default, this is usually uh, PASSW0RD. Unless, for example, on Brandmeister, you've got hotspot security enabled, then you're going, and you should have it enabled, then you should enter your password for accessing the network there and the port number of the other network. In this case of QRM, it's 62031. So once you set all those things up and click OK, um, you will be prompted to say, would you like this to be your default server for DMR? You can choose yes or no. I'll choose no, because I don't want it to be my default. And it'll take me back to this menu where I see that I've got Brandmeister, DMR Plus, TGIF, and now QRM. And there's space for another network if I wanted to add in another one. So I'm all set to go over here on the server side. Now let's just go look at the client side and see how we connect to this other network. Okay, now that we've set up our other DMR networks on the server side, let's talk about how to switch to it over here on the client side. It's pretty easy to do. This depends on you having those advanced macros enabled that we talked about in the last video. Just long press on the star key, It'll bring up this same dialog we used before to set up our audio gain. And now we're going to click on DMR server selection. And you'll see now that the network we've added, QRM, is part of our server selection. So we just select that. And then you'll get a message at the bottom of the screen that says waiting for QRM. And then it will say wait, wait. And it will tell you once it's connected to this new server. OK QRM, and then you're ready to go. So you can just dial up the talk group. Let's say we wanted to go to Tech Talk 31535. We could just enter the talk group number, hit send, and then we are connected to our new DMR network. So that's how to set up a new DMR network on the server side and connect to it on the client side. Okay, I hope that was useful in helping you set up a different DMR network on DV Switch Mobile and switching to it on the client side. If you have any questions, again, refer to the full documentation and be sure to check out the groups.io group uh, to get all of your other questions answered. Good luck and have fun.